Hello everybody, welcome back to BRI Breslev, Breslev.org. It's Parshas Matas Masai. Ah, we're finishing Sefer by Midbar this week. There's so many interesting things to talk about. I found one that I really wanted to bring out. It's a very, very important message. Here we go. The Rebbe Shalom tells Klai Yisrael, Nikoim Nikmas B'nei Yisrael Me'esa B'nyonim. He says, Rabbi Yisrael tells Kla Yisrael, it's time to now take revenge on those Midian. What did they do? They caused us to sin and we lost 24,000 Jews. We lost 24,000. Big, big, big number. The Rabbi Yisrael, Rashi says on that parsha, on that Pasuk, if you pick a fight on a Yidala, on a Jew, you're picking a fight with the Rabbi Nishlam, says Rashi. Rabbi Nachman has in, in Lukute Moran, Tari Reish, Pei Beis, right? 282, lesson 282. It's one of the most beautiful lessons in all of Lukute Moran. Finding the Nakuda Taiva, finding the good trait, good deed, something good, the Nakuda Taiva, goodness, in every single yid, in every yid. The Rebbe says, even in a Russia Gomor, be mechapes and find a Nakuda Taiva. We know that uh, Rabbi Nassim, as the Kutay Eitzes, the most beautiful Sefer, Rabbi Nassim writes in the Kutay Eitzes, in, in Hilchas Hashkamas Habaykir, this idea, he talks about it. How do you find an akuda taiva in somebody, let's say, that wronged you? Someone that did, whatever. How, how do you do that? Nelson says it's very simple. He says like this, you know, there's many things in the Torah that says you can't kill. Did this guy kill anybody? Could he have? He could have, but he didn't. There's an akuda taiva. Of course, that's an extreme. Of course it's in it, but Rabbi Nassim is trying to drive the point home. And that's how far you have to go. That's how far you have to go. To be mechapes that nekuda teva in somebody. Amazing. So what's going on over here in the, in the parsha? The Bersham says, take the karma on those midyanim. Rashi says, why? Because if you start up with a Yid, you're starting up with the Rabbi Nishlam. How do we understand that? It's very simple. Every Yid has a Neshama. The Neshama is a Chelek Elikamimal. Is a shtickle of the Rabbi Nishlam is in every single Yid. Now, the fact that every Yid has a Neshama, that's the good sky. So if you start up with the other Yid, what are you doing? You're picking a fight with the Rabbi Nishlam. What does Hashem say? Take the cup. We don't want to do that. We don't get involved in that. Look, we're in the Bain of Mitzarim now. Right? The, the three weeks. Why? Chazal tell, tell, tell us that why? Because we had sinas chinam. We had baseless hatred. One year to another. What's the taken? How do you fix that? By having love between one and each and every Jew. How do you do that? Tereish pay base. Find the good in every year. Find the good kind in every single yid. Why are you doing that? That's the tikkun for the sin chinam. Now you'll have a harvest chinam. Just a, a love for every yid. Amazing. This is what we have to learn from this. And many times our enemies teach us the greatest the lessons. The Midianim did such bad for us. But we understand. We understand. The Rabbi Yisrael says, take revenge. It's during the Bain of So let us be mechapes, the Nikuda type in every single person. There's someone that did something wrong to you, try to be mevater. Try to let, just let it go. Let it go. You give the advice of a tremendous, tremendous nachas. Tremendous nachas by doing that. Tremendous. And you know what? Rav Nassim says there too, find the Nikuda type in yourself. Sometimes it's very hard, but there's good sky in every single one of us. 
Let us work on seeing the good in us. And let us work on seeing the good in every single Yid. So the Rabbi Shalom will see the good in all of Kla Yisrael and will bring us to Mitzvah Hashem, to the Gula Shleim of Amitas, B'mehev Yameinu, Kol Tuv.